Okay, so in this lab screen recording, um, it's going to be, be a little bit different. We're not going to use Excel and we're not going to use SPSS. We're actually just going to use a website. So the website I like, and I have this um, available for you in your in your lab data materials section, um, is just a, it's just a Z table um, or a Z score calculator, and you can Google Z score calculator and a lot of them come up, but this is the one I like to use. It's pretty simple. So all I want you to do is put in the average score. So our mean score for our first quiz, and so say the first quiz, we averaged, the class averaged a 90. And then let's say we have five points for the standard deviation, and you scored a 92, right? So your value would be your score, your raw score. And then when you put calculate, you'll see down here it says z-score equals 0.4. So the first thing I want you to do for the lab is to calculate your z-score for the first quiz and your z-score for the second quiz. Again, I'll, I'll provide um, you with the, the classroom uh, average, the mean, and the standard deviation. Of course, you have your own value for your um, first and second quiz score. So put in those numbers. So the first part of the, the um the lab, the screenshots I want is whatever your z-score is. And so you'll take a, a screenshot of just like this little part right here. It says z-score 0.4. And then so say the next lab quiz, and this is just dummy numbers because I'm making this video before we actually have our um, quiz scores up, but say maybe it dips a little bit. It goes down to 87 and the standard deviation now is 3.5, but you did a lot better. You got a 94 on this second quiz, right? So on the next one, you have a z-score of 2. So you went from having a z-score of 0.4 to a z-score of 2. The second part of the lab, so in addition to having both of these, so the one before that and then now this new red little box um, screenshotted for me. The second part I want you to do is calculate what does that mean? Did you do better or worse in relation to your peers on the first quiz or on the second quiz? Um, and you can talk about how the average went up or down or your score went up or down, but more importantly I want you to talk about the z-score because again the z-score translate your raw score and it looks at now placement, percentile ranks, how well did you do um, compared to other people. And I want you to get out the z-score table and and tell me what percentage of people did you score better than? What percentage of people scored better than you? And again, with the z-score table, you can use it both ways, and so you do have the percentile um, ranks on that, so you just have to convert the decimal into percentage. So you would just say, okay, um, you know, whatever it is, 0.79, that means that, you know, you did better than 79% of the people in your class or whatever that is. So um, it's a little bit longer of a write-up, but shorter on the actual calculations for this, um, for this lab. Okay, have fun.